CoreCon uses projects to organize data, information, records, and transactions into a logical order. Projects can represent just about anything from a single structure, multiple structures, or phase type work. When there are multiple structures or phases, a project will typically have multiple prime contracts to track financials for each. Corcon doesn't require multiple prime contracts. A majority of our subscribers only need to create a single prime contract under a project. There are special situations where multiple prime contracts under a project come in handy. For example, if you're dealing with multiple structures at the same site, for example, the parking structure, lots one, two, three, or multiple office buildings. Also, phased work can be tracked under a single project. For example, there may be a design phase representing the first prime contract and then a construction phase represented by a second prime contract. Projects entered in CoreCon are typically awarded since leads are used for tracking opportunities. One differentiation between the two is that a project can utilize all features of CoreCon, whereas leads can use drawing specs, estimating, and correspondence. Before we go into a couple of reminders, let's take a look at the Projects module. From the main menu, go to Projects and select a project. You can do this by just clicking on the existing project name or clicking change. The project homepage includes all information related to a given project. These are represented by the landing pages for different modules at the bottom and also information by tab across the top. It's important to remember that a project number can be 25 characters in length and is alphanumeric. If it is changed in CoreCon, all documentation in CoreCon will reflect that revised number. CoreCon will let you transfer awarded leads to projects. This is done through a lead to project wizard covered in a separate training video. The project start and finish dates appear in the scheduling module under multi-project Gantt. Before we create our first project, let's take a look at some settings. To do this, we go to the Global Settings button at the top right hand corner, down to Feature Settings, and Lead in Projects. CoreCon provides two Lead in Project lists, Project Type and Lead Source. If you open those, CoreCon has also provided some examples of how they're used. In this example, we're going to take a look at the project type. When I click on that list or label, the options appear. These classifications will also appear as you're setting up projects and as a way of grouping information on reports, also used to search, sort, filter, and subtotal reports based on these classifications. CoreCon has provided several for you as a suggestion we are not expecting you to use the ones provided. However, we encourage you to customize this list to suit your company's needs. Imagine after you've had several hundred projects entered in CoreCon and you needed to group information by a project type. This would be the label assigned to a group of projects and in many cases can also be used to create subtotals. If you'd like to change the ones that CoreCon provided for you, you can delete, you can add new, or you can click edit and make changes to the list. Let's add one new one to this list. We'll click the add button and simply type tenant fit out and click save. Let's go back to the lead and project list. You can also use project classifications to create your own custom lists. For example, if you wanted to track each project based on which division, department, or group within your company is performing the work, you could create a list called Profit Center. To do that, just click Add and type Profit Center and then Save. Once you save it, it'll appear on this list. Then when you click on it, you can start adding your divisions, departments, or groups within your company. 
Each time you set up a new project, each project will be tagged to one of these groups. Back to lead in project settings, lead in project classification. If we go back to Corcon Home and back to our project landing page, we also want to mention that a project can be archived. Once a project is complete, the prime contract has been invoiced completely to the project owner or customer, and procurement items are approved and closed, you can go to the project home and click the edit button and click archive and click save and close. That information is not deleted from CoreCon. However, when you look at a project list, that project will no longer be there. If you'd like to reactivate a project, you can go to the inactive projects list and confirm that there is an archive column on this view. If you do not see the archive column, go to the blue column settings button and add that column. Once it's there, you can just search for the project that you want to and simply uncheck the archive button and it becomes an active project again. Back to all projects. Now if we go to the active project list, we can see that the project is active again. If you'd like to know more about the information presented in this training video, we encourage you to go to the help articles. Under the Quircon browser solution, go to leads and projects, down to projects, and we cover the lead and project settings and the projects overview. This project resource center includes multiple help articles that cover the information in this training video, as well as additional information you'll find helpful.